Hey my friends, how you doing? So this is pretty straightforward. What we're taking a look at here is how do we pair our EV3 brick with the Lego Mindstorms Education EV3 software or if you have the retail edition, the same thing. And so I know many of you already know how to do this, but I didn't want to leave it out in the loop as we explore how to pair our bricks with Scratch and Python and MakeCode. And so here we are in the software. And what we're going to do is just we're going to go here to new project so you can see how this works. And once we have a new program opened up and you just follow those prompts here, it's going to take you to the coding platform. You can see down here in the bottom right hand corner of the software, it tells us that no brick is connected. And that's because I do not have it plugged in. So I can plug in right here the USB cord that comes with the brick to the PC slot. And then I will take my USB and plug it into my computer for the direct connection. And what you're going to see is that this will change, and there it is. There's the name of my brick. You can see that it's picked that I am plugged in via USB. And now anything that I want to run and do, um, I can just put a block up here. We connect through the wire by just hitting this download button right here. You heard the little beep of the EV3, and we know that this program is now there. And then I could go through over here to my file folder, as many of you know. Um, this one is not named anything, it's just called New Program Folder. So I'm going to look for New Program Folder, hit Enter. And then this particular code is called Program. There it is. I could run this, um, and away we go. So that is how we program uh, and pair our brick directly with the USB cable. It's the simplest of all methods that are out there, uh, but we can also do it one other way, and that is through Bluetooth, which we'll explore here next. All right, so what I'm going to be doing now is pairing my brick i have it currently plugged in with usb so i'm going to unplug this and we're going to do it through bluetooth and we can see here that no brick is connected and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open up my bluetooth channel you can see up here that i have nothing turned on but i'm going to go over here to my my settings this wrench here on the brick and i'm going to go down to bluetooth you can see that the box here i don't know if you can see that is unchecked so i'm going to go ahead and check that and I'm going to go ahead and turn the Bluetooth on. As soon as I do that, we should be able to see on the screen that we're going to be connected. So we're going to search We're going to search here now for our Bluetooth and we're going to get paired up here. And I'm just going to look for, I can see it here, the name of this brick um, is EV3. And so we're going to want to connect to um, this one. Actually, I'm going to just remove it and then we're going to, uh, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and turn my Bluetooth on. And once I have that turned on, I should be able to see on my brick, as well as on my screen, you can see here, I can see that the EV3 is right here. When I'm searching here on this screen, it should pop up my Mac. It's, my Mac is discovered as Aaron's MacBook Pro. This should pop up here in just a minute. We just want to make sure that the systems are compatible. So there it is, Aaron's MacBook Pro. 
All right, and so um, we're going to go ahead and just we're going to connect those devices here. All right, and we're going to say yes to the connect. I'm going to hit enter for the passcode of one two three four. I'm going to have to type this in on my screen, the same code. Now we are connected. It'll show me here that I'm connected on my screen. All right, and now I don't have to have the USB brick here plugged in, um, but what I'm gonna be able to do then, and then when we refresh down here, once our brick is connected, it should pop up down here. Once we refresh, we can see the brick is right here. We click that little box, make sure the software now is connected to the brick. So now we have our device and our brick connected. And then we also will have our brick connected now to the software. And so now when we go to run this code and drop this motor up here, and we'll just make this be here real quick. Now with our code, we can just run this straight to the brick.